good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Dima, verbal music. So, guys, celebrity gossip and the red pill work hand in hand. And that's why I do it so much because men can learn so much from the hypocrisies in the celebrity world. I mean, let's look at today's subjects Iggy Azalea and Tory Lane. Now, let's look at Iggy Azalea. She might be white, she might be rich, but she has the same problem that many women have in today's time, which is being unaccountable. Now, remember, she had as a baby by Playboy Cardi, and she says that you know he's not a good dad. He left her uh, and the child. Sad music. Oh my God, Playboy Cardi is treating me so bad. Now, this could be true, but what are we leaving out here, guys? That Iggy Azalea, despite having many options, I mean, she did break up with Nick Young, stopped the show because he was cheating, and then Playboy Cardi stopped the show, was obviously cheating. <sighs> she doesn't want to be accountable for the fact that every guy who comes across her, she's choosing them. Yes, Iggy Azalea is choosing them. However, Media Takeout has a, a story that could be quite, um, I don't know, is it wrong? Is it incorrect? But they're saying something that is really, really, um, really interesting here. And that is um, that Iggy Azalea is pregnant by Tory Lanez. God, hey. Can I get a game or sound effect, Dima? <laughs> All right. Now, we know that they were hanging out, but I don't know if the story is true. But the fact that they are hanging out it really talks about one thing. Iggy Azalea has no real standards for the men that she gives opportunities to. Because Tory Lanez, we understand the situation with Meg Thee Stallion, but just overall, is Tory Lanez the kind of man you want to you know, be associated with? Tory Lanez represents what we would consider the pookies and ray rays of today, today's generation, which is being unaccountable, irresponsible not a good man and definitely stupid for the most part for a lady maybe not a good leader i'm not you know saying that these are his qualities but that's how he acts but now why would you give that kind of man the time of day when you were saying the same thing about playboy cardi he was a joke he was unaccountable all of these things but if the story is true and media takeout sometimes gets it right you could be pregnant by not one but two guys that are going to give you the same outcome, which is nothing. And guess what you'll be doing if this is true, Iggy Azalea. Sad music in Nima. Oh, my God. Tory Lanez ain't ish. He ain't nothing. It's all his fault. Now, let's talk about this because this is what's happening in the celebrity world. We're seeing it all over the blogs. Let's look at Fivio Foreign and what's going on with his baby mama, Jasmine. What do we see? A whole lot of unaccountability. You know, she's seeing that, oh, she see gay porn in his searches and things like that. But you're still dealing with him. Stop the cap. You were still screwing him. You were still having babies by the guy. But now, who looks stupid? Oh, yeah, you do too. And Iggy Azalea. You want to know who looks, you know, foolish when things don't work out? You. And then you blame men for everything. Let me tell you something, guys. And this is what a lot of men, especially a lot of black men are noticing today, is that you don't want to take, as far as certain ladies, any kind of accountability for the men that you're dealing with. It's always the man's fault. But now let me talk about this. How many ladies come across good men and then they turn a blind eye to those good men? And let me just say that it's not just black women that you guys want to blame for that. It are, there are white women who look for the same traits that some stereotypical urban women look for, and then they have the same issues. Now, a lady like Iggy Azalea has got a ton of men who have been interested in her for the right reasons, willing to be um, a good father to her, a good husband to her. But guess what? They don't recognize the signs. Many ladies in the urban communities are who are influenced by urban communities they don't know the signs 
of a good man. And let me tell you, one of the good signs of a good man <laughs> typically is, I'm gonna say it, boring. What, what do we mean when we say boring, guys? Well, let's just talk about it, right? Let's, let's talk about anything that is, you know, repetitive, like getting up, going to work every day, paying your bills on time, taking care of your wife and your kids, running the business every day. Why do you think Shaquille O'Neal is so rich right now? He has like a um, hundred car washes plus. He has like a lot of boring real estate properties. You know, he has a lot of boring fast food restaurants. These are not exciting businesses, but they are boring businesses. And a lot of ladies don't want a boring man because it's not exciting. Yeah, because he does the little things, the things that are important, like keeping the family together, making the best investments, planning ahead, um, you know, organizing, administrating, doing the leadership things, things that are not sexy. But Playboy Cardi is not that kind of man maybe for a woman or Tory Lanez because it's exciting, you know, getting ready for those arguments, those cat fights, making up to break up, you know, fighting over chicks over him and things like that, going on crazy trips, spontaneous things. But these things don't lead to great relationships. What leads to great relationships is actual, actual work, working on changing for the person or working on compromising for the person, having a plan, taking that plan on every single day. And that is what good men do. Good men are boring when it comes to the rudimentary processes of making great relationships work because every great relationship, every great business, it's boring. You do the same thing every day. Let me just tell me this, right? Who would you watch, rather watch play football? Tom Brady or Patrick Mahomes? Everybody likes Patrick Mahomes. Aaron Rodgers, Brett Favre, running around throwing the football. Steve Young, Michael Vick. Exciting. What does Tom Brady do? He takes the boring throws, the five yards, the four yards here, the eight yards here. Safe throws, the good throws. Moves the chains. Why? Because it's boring and people don't like it. They want more, right? You want to see somebody jumping over the god dang thing. But guess what? Doesn't win games. Doesn't win championships, right? Guys who win championships and sustain long-term marriages, they're the boring guys. They make the right decisions at the right time. And guess what, ladies? It's not always sexy. It's not always fun. It's not. And I know ladies don't like that, but you pass up on those guys for the exciting guys who have no plan for you. And ultimately, when you don't have a plan, you plan to fail and you end up with the same guy over and over and over and over and over again. And then you blame everybody else for why you got them, except for yourself. And if this story is true, this is what we're going to see. I'm addicted to Pookie and I can't get enough of the good D. I can't get enough of his problems. I can't get enough of him. And even when I can't have him and he's not acting right, I'll go find another Pookie who makes me feel good temporarily because the first Pookie is a Bia Bia. It's sickening. Get over it. Guys, I gotta go. Peace!